I will share one article with you. Very excellent article for this. And you will, you will find some good things regarding ECL. After the class, remind me, I'll send you one article. All of you, it's a 10 to 15 minutes article. One guy is asking a question in that, in that article, the answer of that question is given. Okay. I'll share that article. It's very good for you guys. Okay, did you go, did you, did you read it? All of you, did you read it? Please reply. One more thing which I have taken from the article. Normally you have seen and you all know this even, even in the last attempt, past paper if you see, IFRS 10 is very important. IFRS 10 may come in the exam and the issue is whether you have control or not. And they normally mix it up with IFRS 11, the joint arrangement, joint arrangement. Sometimes they check, you have, they ask you whether you have control Sometime you concluded that you have joint control, right? Or sometime you say that there is just significant influence. So this is a very key area and very famous area examiner, examiner wants you to be prepared for it. Examiner wants you to be prepared for it. And I have, I have recorded many sessions for this, but right now I want, uh, this is the article by examiner. So I want to share something because articles are always relevant for you guys, right? Okay, so now the first thing is, when you guys were kids in your F3 level, in your FR level, normally when a, whenever a teacher starts teaching consolidation, teacher write like this, that you have P company, S company, and 50% plus shares. Normally students are taught in this way. This is the routine. That control comes, control comes with 50% plus ownership, okay? But in SBR level, now you have seen that very less practical content you have. Even you are not asked to make the complete statements, no more SOCI, SOCI, no more, no more complete consolidated cash flow. You have seen your in your last four years exams. You need to discuss this theory, theor theoretical aspect. So now just writing this 50% thing for control is not enough because there are many cases in which you have less than 50% shares, but still you get the control. Still you have less than 50 person shares and you get the control okay so you need you need to apply your judgment as well you need to apply your judgment as well in my past classes i have used this word that in sbr in sbr course in in sbr exam if you are right you are right you'll get the marks and if you are wrong still you may get the marks if your argument, if your answers are with, with arguments, with logics, if you are writing the logic of your argument, that according to me, this is the issue. And why I'm saying this because of this, you will get the marks. You will get some marks. Obviously the right thing is right. But so this is the benefit of SBR course. That is a practical course. So if you, if you are wrong, but you have presented things properly and you have given logics of things, you can get the marks, okay? And these, these dialogues best fits for this topic. Very, very judgmental topic. Very, very judgmental topic, right? Now, first of all, I have a question. What is the difference between IFRS 10 and IFRS 3? Please tell me on the chat box. What is the difference between IFRS 10 and IFRS 3? Can anybody... Very good. IFRS 10 tells you that whether you have control or not, 
whether you have control in this company or not. And once IFRS 10 gives you green signal, once IFRS 10 gives you green signal, yes, you have control. Once IFRS 10 gives you green signal that you have control. So for all complete detailed practical consolidation, takeover accounting, fair value adjustment, P2S sale, S2P sale, contingent liability issue, this issue, that issue, all these issues are covered by IFRS 3. That means the whole total consolidation which you have studied practically, all is, is under the head of IFRS 3, right? Okay, business combination. Now for control, you know, this is the very famous definition of control. These three points, these three points normally, if you have ever read the exam kit, study text, any article or my lecture, you have seen this power of over the, this is the definition of control. You have to meet all these kind of power over investee, power over investee. That means whatever investor is saying, investee has to accept, right? Exposure or rights to variable returns, variable returns. That means if you have invested in loan notes, if you have invested in loan notes and you are getting fixed 10% return, then, then, then that's not, that's not takeover. And you better know this whenever, uh, in my earlier studies and in P normally teachers, trainers say this, whenever parent company acquires as company, whenever parent company acquires as company, it acquires the running business. It acquires the running business of S company. It acquires the running business of S company. Okay. So whenever you acquire the running business, obviously you get the variable return. It's not fixed return. And the third thing is the ability to use its power. Current ability means current ability. Current, the day you are saying that you have control, you have the ability to change things. You have the ability to change things, right? So now examiner has written some, has given you some description, some description. See, for power of investee, they have given you this paragraph. For exposure to variable returns, they have discussed this. For the third point, they have discussed this. This is present on your website. I repeatedly say, you guys don't do proper reading. Don't do proper. Otherwise, you could score. You could score even more. Although you guys score good with the lectures, but if you do proper reading, you can you can get distinction. See, owning majority, owning majority voting right is not always necessary to have control, especially at this level. Then they don't ask straightforward questions. Is instead control requires the investor's power rights are sufficient for its unilateral direct the relevant activities. See this this word relevant activities, relevant activities. You call it the heart of any business. Relevant activities means you call it the heart of any business. Even if you read the main IFRS book or you read your study text. They have given very good cases for relevant activities. Sometime it happens. There is a company who deals in innovative products. They launch innovative things. So there is one sales department and one research and development department. There is one sales department and one research and development department. If research and development department develops new technology, new products, innovative things, then, then the sales department will be able to sell it. So that means the heart of this company is research and development. The heart of this company is research and development department. And whoever, whoever has the control over research and development department, that party has the real power. You are not getting. For example, there are two different companies. One company has rights over selling department. The other company has right over the other company has right over the other company has right over that department research and development department research and development department research and development department and for this business the heart the heart of earning is research and development the whole company is dependent on research and development so the company who has control over research and development department has control over relevant activities this is just an example one more question is coming soon in the next slide now, for example, SBR candidates should consider who makes the operating, financing, and capital decisions and who appoints the key management person. Yes, this is the normal point. 
I already told you more analysis and judgment is required to determine whether an investor with a significant minority of voting or other rights has control. Yes, sometimes we have very less shares, but through agreement, we get the control. Through agreement, we get the control, right? Sometimes. For example, power over investee can still exist even when another entity has significant influence. Now wait, listen. This is P company. P company has 60% shares of S company. And there is one company, Y company has 30%. Now, this is possible. Look at me. This is possible at one time, at one time right now, this Y company has significant influence of this company and P company has control. Yes, this is possible. I In IFRS 10, this is clear, clearly written. At one time, one entity has significant influence and other entity has control. This is possible. You can write in your comments. This is possible. So the significant influence by other company does not mean, does not stop you. The significant influence of other entity does not stop you from exercising control. This is possible. Okay. Now, the second thing is exposure or rights of variable returns. I just told you, returns should be interpreted broadly. For example, include synergy. Yes, normally when parent and subsidiary join hands, lot of synergies, you know that now you are no, no more kids. Returns can be negative or positive. Yes, sometimes there are negative synergies as well. A right to return that is fixed is not normally consistent with control. Example, loan notes. Okay. The ability to use its power to current ability. In more complex control assessment, IFRS 10 requires identification of the activities that most affect the investee's return and how they are directed, right? See the relevant activities. Who controls the relevant activities? Now giving you one question. Giving you one question. See, this is the question. Not giving you the answer right now. Giving you three minutes. Read it and guide me. Read it and guide me the judgmental thing. J and C company holds 40-40% each of the voting rights of door company. The remaining 20% are held by hack company. Okay, so there are three major owners. A shareholder agreement state that the purpose, very good. One student gave the right answer. The purpose of door company is to generate capital gains. This is the main activity, capital gains, buying and selling property, buying and selling properties, right? From buying and selling properties. This is the major earning, earning thing. All decisions concerning buying, concerning buying and selling properties and their financing, buying and selling require unanimous Agreement of both Joe and Cat. See, unanimous agree and unanimous agreement means joint control. So, the heart of this business, the heart of this business is capital gain, earning up from capital gains, and how we earn capital gains by buying right thing and selling at right time, and using the correct source of finance. So, this is the major major thing, and this major thing is owned by these two. You you need unanimous consent, right? So. 
looks like apparently from this first paragraph we can see joint control IFRS 11. Okay, now jo company is responsible for all management activities for which it receives a payment and additionally has the final decision on appointment to the board of directors right so they can appoint the board of directors as well as the, as the other management activities they also do now tell me what are the relevant activities of this company relevant activities is earning capital gain Relevant activities is earning capital gains. Other management things are not relevant activities. And relevant activities we have seen are jointly controlled because unanimous consent is needed. Unanimous consent is needed. So we, our answer is more to, we should answer, we should comment more towards IFRS 11, right? Okay. Please check it out. Check it out. The major the major see even the examiner using the word see the examiner is using the word suggested answer see even they are using the word suggested answer suggested answer okay the major finance and management activities will both affect door companies return therefore therefore jew company and cat company should evaluate which set of activities are the greatest effect on, on returns okay Given the purpose of the door company is achieve capital gains C, its capital gains. This may indicate capital investment activities have the most significant impact. If so, the conclusion with would be Joe company and cat company have joint control. Right now, in the end, see, they are they are also discussing the multiple solution. This is what what these speciality, the beauty of SBR. This is the beauty of SBR. See the last, read the last, last paragraph. If, however, management activities and key management personnel appointments are considered more significant, the conclusion would be that then, then in that case, Joe company has control of door company because it solely directs these relevant activities. But again, the correct answer is the first paragraph, right? And, and listen, by reading these type of articles, see you are you are learning how to answer. You are learning how to use how to use the professional language. See the the way uh, this guy is writing. If however, in this way you can you can give the second idea as well. Because listen, right now you are with teacher. Right now you are with teacher. You are in the classroom. Classroom environment and the exam environment is different. In exam environment. What can I say? You can, you, things looks very diff, difficult. Tension, time pressure. Even, you know, there is one more problem students report me in the in last five to six years. You know, you guys practice and definitely you have to practice on keyboard. Please solve questions. That's why I'm asking you to solve more. If you are using paper and pen all the time, you will be, you will have problems. You are professional students. Please try to understand. You have to practice on your exam software, but you know, 99% of these students do practice on laptop and laptop, laptop keyboard is very, very delicate. It's very in, enjoyable, but you know, in many CB centers, they give you the, the old big keyboard with CPU. And when you type on that keyboard, keyboard, you feel noise, tuck, 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 like this. Even this gives you a psychological pressure. That's why I, I have I have instructed many such students, those who have this, those who complain this. I all, I often say them that buy that separate keyboard and do it at home. Are you getting my point? Did you understand this question? Let's take a five to six, six minutes, six to seven minutes break, and then we'll continue the remaining part. Okay. Okay, students.